Hello everyone, welcome back to another ChatGPT video. In this one, we're going to talk about the ChatGPT is at capacity now error. <laughs> and a few of the ways you can possibly fix it. There's no guarantees. Uh, generally, what's happening is their servers are basically overloaded. Traffic is massive, it's overloaded, and well, what can you do, right? You, you're kind of getting queue and, and you, you, know, you wait and see what happens. That said, there are some potential fixes, and I'm going to go through about eight or ten of them, and they're going to increase in complexity from super simple Captain Obvious stuff all the way through to the more complicated ones. So the first one, and you don't even, I don't even really need to say this, is wait a little, all right? Here's the thing. If you're getting that error, chances are it's because their servers are at capacity. It's also possible you got logged out and a few other things, but if you have, if you're not in a rush, wait 15 minutes, come back, try again. Captain Obvious checking out. The second one is refreshing the page. Again, pretty simple stuff. If you've worked in IT or if you ever talked to somebody in the IT world, they'll always tell you to refresh the page. This though, here's the thing, refreshing the browser not only reloads the page, but it makes a separate request for the page. So it's sending in another request. So it's not coming from cache. So keep that in mind, refreshing the page often works. The next one I like to try is the logout login method. Again, Captain Obvious here checking in for the third time, but this works. A lot of the time, you know, if you've been logged in for a while and you've been inactive, it doesn't know if you're logged in or you're logged out, and it will just assume you're out. So just log back in and try again if that doesn't work. That said, if we if none of these are working, there are a few other options. The first one is you can try the incognito mode. Go to Google Browser or create an incognito browser. I don't know, use Google Chrome or whatever you want to use. But use an incognito browser, and what this means is none of your browsing history, cookies, site data, or information you've entered in is saved on your device. So you're basically kind of, not anonymously browsing, but kind of. Uh, does that matter to ChatGPT? It's hard to say, but ChatGPT seems to know everything, so it might know. So you might want to give that one a crack. That one might be the fix. If that doesn't work... Let's continue the escalation. You want to go in and clear your browser's cache. Basically, you want to go in and get rid of all of that. It, to do that, you just go to the menu on Chrome. You launch the browser. You click the three dots. You hit the drop-down menu. Select clear browsing data. And then, bang, delete all that stuff. That might be the next best option for you. Other than that, the only other things I can suggest is you can create a second account. Right now, you can actually... It looks like you can have two accounts set up to the same phone number. So if you have two Google, if you have a Google account and a Yahoo account or, or a Facebook account or whatever it is, log out of one, log into the other if you have two accounts. If you don't have two accounts, make a second account, give that a crack. And if none of these things worth work, pardon me, you can always try a VPN. Don't know if that's gonna work, but it does work for some things and it might be worth a crack. Those are some of the fixes, guys. Let me know if you have a fix that's working for you and if you and, and in, what's your experience? Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.